Hi guys, welcome to the short video about what to look for if you want to buy a dash cam for a cheaper price. So there are a, a lot of good opportunities, especially these days with the Amazon Prime Day and soon Black Friday and all these things. Now it's a good time to look for these things but the question is always what you have to look for if you don't want to spend two or three hundred dollars uh, on a dash cam but you still want to have something decent so this is my advice so in general i would say uh, it is better to save a little bit of money on the dash cam itself uh, than saving on the micro SD card. So usually when we buy uh, these dash cams, uh, micro SD cards are not included for a reason. So uh, I mean the idea is that everybody can decide on how large you want to have your flash card or micro SD card. Usually that's the thing which we are using. So when you buy already a dash cam for $200 and you uh, find out that you have to uh, pay even extra money on a micro SD card and usually you are trying to save money because you already spend so much so my advice is uh, to go for a lower price dash cam and then spend more money on a large micro SD card because yeah I mean I have my experience already unfortunately somebody hit my car and I didn't notice when it was so I detected it too late yeah we made a longer uh, trip and uh, at the destination we found out that somebody had uh, bumped into the back of our car and that, then we checked uh on all the parking lots where we have been parking during the day and we didn't find anything so it was probably during the night before and uh, because we have been driving for 12 hours the uh footage was then lost because usually when you have 32 gigabytes of storage the camera will uh, start to overwrite old footage after maybe four or six hours or so and everything was lost so yeah i highly recommend to go for a larger uh, card and cheaper dash cam i mean these things are not extremely expensive when we look at these micro sd cards but i highly recommend to use uh, this size 128 gigabytes sometimes larger ones are not compatible and smaller ones are not good so uh, you have to definitely spend uh, about $20 so how can you save money on a dash cam when you uh, spend another $20 on the micro SD card I have found a really good thing and that's the Eggfly dual dash cam 1080p I mean it's definitely not the a uh, top-notch dash cam these days but if you want to go for something uh, for a reasonable price and still having uh, actually all the features which you really need then that's the thing to go here I've tested this on my channel and it had really good footage you can see that here I have been recording a little bit here yeah, you can see that here I mean this is from a video and it has been converted about three times and it still has all the details you can see that here so I'll put that in uh, motion so you can see that we have been really driving along this road and uh, this is just a, a picture which I have made then uh, in this YouTube video so it's it's not a, a stand image or so it's really an image from the video footage and you can see you can even read this small numbers phone number website everything so it's absolutely crazy and I mean the ori original footage is even much better and here's the worst situation which we have uh, driving uh, directly towards the sun so you can see it is definitely enough and we have also the footage from inside the car uh, the inside or like the back is only 720 but but usually it's very hard to detect uh, anything in in the back I mean usually the numbers or plates uh, they are only in the back and uh, usually I have never seen something really uh, being able to recognize through the windows in the back no matter how, how what resolution I had so but apart from that everything really good you can read everything all the signs here yeah I'm having a little bit of problem with the YouTube playing and I don't have on any other uh, footage at the moment but everything is really good 
inside outside you can see that almost 360 degrees uh, all around and i mean there are definitely uh, cameras with better footage but this is uh, i would say this is on a on a good level on a decent level uh, which uh, you need to protect yourself when you have like an in, in an accident which we definitely don't want but you never know it can happen anytime and then then you want to be covered and with this thing uh, i think you are nicely covered you have everything you have all the menus which you need uh, you get all the accessories and what, what's really important that you get the right uh, attachments and uh, things to uh, charge and, and, and all those things. I mean, we have this suction cup here. A lot of dash cams these days still come with these uh, 3M stickers and then it's almost impossible to remove. Sometimes they have uh, even if you don't want to remove the whole thing and, and just temporarily remove sometimes these things are really difficult to remove and here we can do that just with this suction cup and yeah sometimes we are in situations where we don't want to have these cameras here like if somebody goes for a driving test DMV or if you uh, are uh, going to the uh, dealership for car maintenance or repair uh, the guys really don't like these things so you better remove these uh, things and there are other um, situations where you don't want to have uh, the camera so you need something which you can uh, easily remove and reapply and this is a good uh, thing here and it also comes with a standard mini usb cable i don't know if you can see that here yeah, we can see that here in uh, my YouTube uh, review. Uh, this is a standard cable. Some of the dash cams, they are using uh, proprietary cables. This is not good. So this you can replace with any other mini USB cable. If you don't want to attach this to your uh, cigarette lighter, you can use other USB uh, ports, which are then maybe uh, better regarding power supply uh, regarding turn on and turn off all these things and and of course what you also uh, want to have uh, you need this timestamp it has a good timestamp here and what you need is also of course a good parking monitor like uh, park damage detection yeah if, uh, imagine if you're parked behind such a, a guy here he's probably not too much worried about your car so you need definitely something to protect you yourself and your car and uh, this camera has it all the only thing uh, which it doesn't have is uh, like the wi-fi access but uh, usually we are not buying such cameras to play around uh, all the time down loading all the footage i mean if you're a youtuber blogger if you need this footage that's a different thing but then you have to go for higher price but for normal everyday uh, protection coverage this is uh, more than enough and i think it's a, it comes for a really good price has everything what you need uh, all the bells and whistles and everything what you don't need it doesn't have it has uh, all the menus what you what you need and uh, it's really easy and good and cheap and uh, i can highly recommend this thing and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time